So this, this is an osmotic pressure uh, the pine, which is an extra pressure head to kind of the resist the flow from pure solvent to the solution side. And we're talking about mixtures, and this is a solvent and the B is a solute. And we want to know the extra pressure head you have to impose as an osmotic pressure in terms of what is called the solution concentration. And you think about it, concentration, I want it in terms of mole fraction or something that relates with the solute. But as you write it, I have a, we have written this equation many times. This is a liquid in the solution versus pure. And this, the concentration or um, composition in the solution represented by XA is related to the B, but it is not. It is not about B. It is about A. So we need to make transition into to M. Okay. So that's the thing that I'm going to do. It is a nice practice as a, I guess, a junior uh, college level. So that this applies to some other cases. You will see the other part is uh, simplifying this. Thing. Uh, what kind of final equation? Final equation, uh, everyone, everyone knows about this equation, right? We all know this, right? This is an uh, ideal gas law. And osmotic pressure equation, which is a Bantoff equation, they call it. And pressure is now osmotic pressure. And this is your uh, the solute numbers. So this is a seemingly quite related to equation that what you guys used to know. Okay, so that's a, that's a funny question. But let's let's do this one uh, one by one. So the heart of this the whole osmotic pressure is understanding the equilibrium. In your left hand side, you have a pure solvent at pressure <coughs> three. And the right hand side solvent at the as a solution and uh, uh, at the pressure P plus extra pressure and uh, your composition can be described by the mole fraction of an A. So I will do this first, XA P plus pi P nu A P plus pi That's an equation that I can see that. So if I think about this pressure up there, which is should be uh, the one that pure A at the same high additional pressure with a mole, mole fraction is right uh, in terms of natural log XA. So this is the one that I'm just expanding the, the pressure from P to pi that you guys know before, which is, uh, we've been writing this equation all the time. So just, so let's say, instead of P, I'm just using the equation and P plus pi. And then what I can do is, mu A, P plus pi, is mu A, P, plus V, Vn times, So this is uh, coming from, you remember the delta Gm over pressure. Do you remember this? Yeah, I mean, it comes always down to dg, dgm is vdp minus sdt, and you're using this all the time. This time, this is something about pressure, Gibbs free energy changing, which is chemical potential change. So in this case, this will be a Vn. And your pressure difference is this minus that, so that's a pi. So we naturally come about this equation. So uh, that's a concept that I have, I have now. So now I, what I do is I'm going to put that, put that in. 
Uh, okay, so that's why I. Okay, the, the simple way is I, I just wanted to add it up. So this, I am going to put that in. So this is what it is. And that is this. So now mu a star p plus dm i plus rt ln xa. So a r cancel out like this. And I have left for it this equation. So now this equation is essentially zero. Uh, looking, if you're looking, just looking at this portion. So now I'm I'm uh, rearranging this as a way. Let me emphasize this equation in this thing. So. I mean, that's the same thing that I didn't tell you before. The depression of chemical potential is an increase in the rising. You need an additional pressure. So this is a negative term, this a negative, negative, positive, and this is an equation that is related. So that's an equation that is actually pretty good. But I want to drive something that is useful as it's looking here. And it has coming from shifting your attention from A to something about B. Right? And it's, it's not difficult, it's very easy. Why? XA is now 1 minus XA. All right? So what I need now is I'm shifting my focus from A to B. So now minus RT natural log 1 minus X B. Okay, so 1 minus X B. And now I'll leave this, this one here. But now natural log 1 minus X B, and I know this is a small because that's a small fraction of your solute. And I can use a Taylor series expansion. Um, for that, which is uh, this one is minus xb. Okay. And then there's a negative sign. So this equation on the left hand side, all of a sudden that became xb rt. You see that? All right, and then what is xb anyway? And there's a small fraction, so. N A N B, that's a number of moles of solvent and the solute, and that's a number of solute. And this is a, something that we call total N, but I think that N A is, is always much bigger than N B, so then I can also approximate it to N A over N B. Okay, so this one now approximated to be on what Taylor series approximation, another approximation, which is N A over N B R T. And that's the number of moles of solvent. This is a molar number of moles, the volume, molar volume of the oh, solvent. So N A times Vm is just the volume of your solvent, right? which is uh, in the limit of when this is very small, this is the same as the volume of your solution too. So putting this all together, you got, you'll see that uh, this term, let me, let me write it here. So uh, Nb, Na, T is a Vm time. And this times that is a volume. So therefore, NBRT 
is pi times d. I just because we are so used to looking at pressure times volume is nRT. That's the same thing. But this is don't be tricked by this the simplicity of this equation because what you're trying to say is additional pressure had to resist the solvent flow from the pure side to the solution side due to the low chemical potential is proportional by this number of moles. Okay. So once again, this is a number of moles, not depending on the chemical species. And so I know how to count the molecule. This is the whole idea about the count the molecule. Count the number of molecules. But if I know the mass, so you prepare the solution using your mass, okay, so your, your balances, you measure that, and you know how to count the number, and you know the, what's the molar mass? Gram per mole. This is you measure by balance. This is you measure by osmotic pressure. Let's say how, how do they do it? In old days, okay? These days, uh, we, have, we have so many ways to, to measure the molecular weight, but I think that we are talking about 150 years ago. And, so, and, and this is a one way to measure the molecular weight. And this, is a, this equation is called Vent-Hoff-Vienne. <coughs> That's the correct spelling, yeah. Vent half equation. Okay. And the for osmotic pressure. There are different versions of Bantoff equation and this is one of them, which is not this is a Bantoff equation for the osmotic pressure. There's a Bantoff equation for chemical equilibrium which is much more popular Bantoff equation, but it has have a name and to kind of acknowledge somebody who have a give a thorough understanding of this. 